Today I'm going to be turning this old tea towel into char cloth. Hello, just in my garden today. Now recently I bought myself a flint and steel for fire lighting, but I need some char cloth to uh, turn the sparks that it makes into nice hot embers for fire lighting. So in order to do this, I've got the fire going. I've got myself uh, a 100% cotton tea towel and I've got an old tin paint tin can. So what the plan is, in order to turn the cloth into char cloth, I need to heat it up with no oxygen. So what I'm gonna do is put the cloth into the tin can. And then in the lid, I've put a small hole in the lid now I've used this tin in the past to make charcoal, so I'm hoping char cloth is going to be pretty similar. So the hole in the lid will stop it exploding, but it will let the gases out. And all I need to do is put that on the fire and let that cook for, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. We'll just let that go away and have a look in a little bit. It's only been on for a minute or two, but there's already, you can see the uh, smoke or steam coming out of that. Out the hole in the top. I'm just going to try and turn it around so that the whole thing gets heat, but more evenly around the outside. I should point out that uh, as this is my first time making charcoal off, please don't take this as a how-to. This is just uh, me recording me doing it for the first time. And you can come along and enjoy. That's quite a lot of smoke coming out of that hole now. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't explode. I'm starting to wish I'd made that hole a little bit bigger. I made it nice and small so that no smoke, no air got in, but that's clearly not going to be a problem. <laughs> it's the amount that's coming out which is concerning me. Oh well, let's see. I'll just try and give it another little turn. Hope it doesn't explode in my hand. Looking good. It's been about five minutes so far. Now I could be wrong, but my understanding is that if you heat up the cotton without any oxygen, then everything which is not pure carbon gets burnt away. And then all you're left with in the tin should just be like a delicate sheet of carbon. I think that's what char cloth is. If I'm wrong, then please correct me. Um, but by being just pure carbon, uh, it's like a very thin layer of charcoal effectively uh, and you can then use that to, to get your fire going. Let's see if it works. Right, I'm going about 10 minutes now. I'm going to take it off and have a quick look and see how far it's got. Oh, I think it's going to need a lot longer. Let's keep it cooking. Get a bit more wood on there, get it hot. About 15 minutes in and it's still pouring smoke out the hole, so I'm going to leave it a bit longer. So just coming up to 20 minutes now, I'm going to take it off and see what we're looking like. There we go, that's looking much more like it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that in there. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit and I'll show you what we got. But it looks like everything's turned to charcoal in there. Right, let that cool down and I'll show you what it's like. Decided to put the lid back on so that while it cools down, uh, just so I don't want it burning. 
So here we are, it's cooled down now. Uh, it's also started to rain as well, but uh, that should be alright. Let's have a look inside. There we have it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get it out. It's quite delicate. There we go, some tea. And here's that tea towel. So, should come apart. And what I hope, if I can use my flint and steel and try and get a spark to land on this, then it should be able to make an ember hot enough to start a fire. So, I'll go and get some birch bark and see if I can make it work. Right, I've come inside now to get out of the rain. Let's see if I can make some sparks out of this. Well, no trouble making sparks. Now let's see if we can make any of the sparks land on the child cloth. Hmm. There we go, we've got one. Well that seems easy enough to get a uh, spark to land on the child cloth. So I've got some um, birch bark that I collected a couple of weeks ago. Let's see if I can use that to turn the um, smouldering child cloth into a fire. So let's get this round here again. in there but just okay I've got a slightly thicker piece of uh, char cloth now I'm going to try my best see if it works any better We're getting somewhere. I think we're nearly getting somewhere. Look, nope, it's gone out. Okay, let's try again.
Woohoo! We done it! We done it! We done it! We done it! <laughs> Fire at last! Right, that is clearly a skill that's going to take a bit of practice. I can just about do it when I'm indoors and everything's dry. I think that's going to take uh, yeah, a little bit of time to get that down. But I've done it. There we go. So, gone from using flint and steel, an old tea towel, the paint tin. Paint tin to turn the tea towel into char cloth, flint and steel to make the spark, char cloth to turn the spark into an ember, and the ember to set fire to the birch bark. Brilliant. Okay, I've got a bit of practice to do on that, but I can do it. I've proved to myself I can do it. Amazing. I'm so happy. Right, thanks so much for that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.